Hello, and welcome to your third C++ lesson. In this lesson, we're going to do about if statements, else statements, and else if statements. Alright, so I've just created a new project. And again, we're going to do our includes first. Hello. Oh, sorry. I didn't type for some reason. Here we go. Include. So it's input output stream. Using namespace standard. Our main function. And something stops so the user can see. And then we can return zero. Alright. So, let's get on to it. Basically, if statements, else statements, and else if statements are all basically as they sound. And if statements check if something is true. So, for example, to do in this statement, we type if, and then we have some brackets, and then we have some curly brackets. And basically what this is, is, oops, what have I done? is the things inside the brackets is the condition. So it goes, if this is true, then do this. So we'll just comment that in. Do something. If I haven't told you already, the double slash means it's a comment and it's not read by the compiler. Um, so conditions. Well, we've got all types of conditions. Basically, um, it's if the condition is true. So I could type in 3 equals equals 3. That's going to do it. 3 equals equals 2, it's not going to do it. Uh, you know, we've got tons of different logical operators. I can't remember if I cover them in this lesson or the next lesson. So I'm just going to take a quick break just to check. Okay, just check. I have covered them, so it's cool. So basically, we can say if 3 equals equals 4 and we do a double equals because we're comparing 3 to 4 and we're not setting 3 to 4 alright so that's the equal to conditional operator and that's two equal signs and that means if the first value is equal to the second value okay but then what we also have is we can replace this equals equals with a different conditional operator for example not equal to is like that. It's an exclamation mark and then an equal sign. So if the first value is not equal to the second value, do this. And then we have greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, which is, you know, pretty self explanatory. And basically, you can mix them up and create the conditions that you want. So let's just say int first value and make a little program int first value int second value uh, c in first value c in second value and then we can say if if first value equals equals second value c out equal alright so yep we got this let's just run this come on here we go so it's wants us to put in our first value so we're gonna put 12 then we're gonna put 56 all it's saying is press any key to continue. But if we do this again and type 12 and then 12, it says equal and then press any key to continue. Alright, so if statements are extremely useful and are basically amazing and are useful the whole time. Um, what we also have is, well, what if we wanted to output not equal if the values weren't equal? What we can do is we can use an else statement. And what this does, you probably guessed it. It just does. If if this thing isn't true, then it gets activated. It goes, oh, all right, it's me then. If this isn't true, so it's me. So we can just search C out. Not equal. Oops. Like so. And then if we do this now, if we put 12 and then 12, oh, sorry, 12 and 100, 112, 
and it says not equal because they're not equal. If we run it again and put 12 and 12, then it says equal. Alright, so that's all good. But what if you wanted to do if... Um, if 1 was greater than 2. Well, what we want... Uh, you still want, if they're equal, you still want to say equal. If they're not equal, you still want to say not equal. Um, and yeah, if, but if 1 was greater than 2, you wanted to say so. So what we can do is we can have an else if statement. So before the else statement, in fact, let's just get rid of this else statement for now. Put it on my clipboard. And we just go else if. I always forget if it's two words. I do so many different programming languages. Um... And basically, we just have another thing, and we put in our next condition. So, first value is greater than. In fact, we don't need greater than or equal to. Let's just do greater than. First value is greater than. Second value. We can just see out. First greater than second. And then we can have another else if statement. You can have as many of these as you like. First value is less than second value. Let's see, uh, oh, this is time consuming. Uh, first is less than second. And L. And then we can have our else statement if they're not equal. That isn't going to work, actually, is it? Basically. All right, sorry, someone was knocking at my door. Um, yep, basically, this isn't going to work anymore. Because they're not going to be equal when it's greater than or less than. So, let's just wipe this out and just say, no cases met. Which is really impossible, but you know. And why have I got a random D there? And why have I got my semicolon there? Okay, so that should work. Let's just save this, debug it, and let's put in 12, let's put in 88. First is less than second. Why is there a massive gap? Well, who knows? It's fine for now. First is less than second, and then 99, 12. Why is it decided to do that? Why? Maybe I accidentally pressed something. 99, 12. Yeah, I did. First, greater than second. And then if we make them equal, equal. And then I'm not sure if I managed to make it in no cases. Maybe if I put in letters or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, that just messes it up. Okay. Well, that's basically if statements, else if statements, and else statements. Um. Basically, they're extremely fun to play around with, especially the CN. And they are actually really good in uh, proper programs using. Um, there's also things called switch statements, which they use. But, you know, um, basically, if we'll go into switch statements in later lessons. Um, but the if statements, else if, and else are very big, and they're very good, and they're very fun to play around with. So, make a couple of applications. On the text tutorial, they said it's something about... You type in a score and it does what grade you got, um, like A, B, C, D, and whatever else. Um, so check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.